Today is all about quick and easy, five ingredient or less, crock pot meals. I'm Sammy and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to share six of my favorite crock pot recipes ever. They are all quick and easy, but delicious. They're five ingredients or less, which means less time in the kitchen and more time with your family during this busy Christmas season. So sit back and relax and let me do all the cooking. Come on, let's go. All right, so let's make some queso chicken. For this, you'll need about three pounds of chicken. You can use whole chicken breast, but I'm using Dosh chicken breast. Seasoning of your choice, I'm using Badia Complete. Some queso sauce, whatever kind you want. I'm just using this one. And then one can of Rotel. I've just got the Great Value brand. And some mild taco seasoning. Let's go ahead and get this into a spray. Dump all pot. of our chicken into that. We're gonna add our seasoning to it. Okay, so now we're gonna add in our entire packet of taco seasoning. And I forgot to mention it, but we will need an eight ounce block of cream cheese that's just diced up. You'll add in your Rotel once you have that cream cheese in there. And then you'll add in your entire container of queso cheese. We'll put our lid on it, cook it on low for um, three to four hours. I did mine for three and it turned out perfect. Okay, so let's see what we've got. It has cooked for three and a half hours and boy, does it smell good. I'm just gonna get a spoon and kind of stir all this cheese and stuff up. And then I'm just gonna serve it over some rice with some tortilla chips and guacamole. It's gonna be so good. Let's make some French dips in the crock pot. These are the three ingredients you'll need. Um, some people only say you'll need two, but I like to switch it up a little bit. So I use a can of beef consomme and a can of French onion soup mixes with my beef chuck roast. So we're gonna go ahead, get everything put into the crock pot. All right y'all, so I just am putting a little bit of the frozen onion in the bottom of my crock pot because I like getting something in there that way my meat has something to rest on while it's cooking but you totally do not have to do this step it's completely up now to we're you. just going to go ahead and put this roast in here i seasoned one side so we're going to put that in down now we're just going to season this side of it and i love my badia complete and my camera did not record me putting in the beef consomme and the can of French onion soup. So please go ahead and do that after you season your roast. Then you'll turn it on low for eight to 10 hours. All right, y'all, this has been cooking all day. I know you're probably gonna fog up, but it is ready. And we're gonna go ahead and get this chopped on up really nice. That way we can get it on our sandwiches and look at that broth. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be delicious. Okay, y'all, so we have all of our shredded roast beef right here, and we've got our au jus, so we're gonna go ahead and get these French dip sandwiches put together. All right, y'all, so we're getting ready to make some garlic Parmesan chicken in the crock pot, and it is so good. You'll need some boneless, skinless chicken breast. Mine are frozen, but it'll be just fine. You'll also need some cream cheese, some garlic parm sauce. I like this one better than I do the Buffalo Wild Wings ones. This one doesn't have much of a spice to it, and I think it just tastes better. <laughs> and then you'll also need some Parmesan cheese. Um, I might put some chicken broth in there as well just to kind of give it a little bit more liquid. But um, when I get home after this is cooked, then I'll boil the pasta. I've never had good luck putting pasta in the crock pot. So if y'all have any tips or tricks for that, please let me know. But let's go ahead and get this thrown in the crock pot. Okay, so in a sprayed crock pot, I'm just gonna put our um, chicken breast in there. I'm not gonna put any seasoning on my chicken. I know that's weird and unusual for me because y'all know I love my Badia Complete, but this has so much seasoning in it that I'm not gonna add anything to it right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and squeeze this whole bottle over the chicken. And then we'll put a little bit of um, chicken broth in there too. 
So all I did was put some water in this bottle and kind of squeezed out the rest of that um, dressing. Plus that gives it a little bit more extra liquid in there. And now all I did was make up a half a cup of chicken broth. I'm just gonna pour that all over. And now we'll add in our cream cheese and Parmesan. Now this does call for heavy cream. I do not put that in here. I just use the cream cheese. That way it's a little bit of a thicker sauce. Plus when you cook in a crock pot, you're going to have more liquid once you're done. So that's why I only put a half a cup of chicken broth in there. So I'm just going to pull this apart and kind of place it everywhere over the chicken. And now time to add just a little bit of Parmesan over the top. This is another reason why I did not put any salt in here because Parmesan cheese is very salty. <laughs> so now the lid goes on it and this cooks on low for four hours. And then if you are interested in this crock pot, it's a seven quart, it's a crock pot brand. And I always have it linked in my description box below. I decided to go ahead and add some bacon bits in there too. <laughs> This is why I love cooking because it's completely customizable to your family. Plus I'm trying to clean out my fridge and I wanted to go ahead and use those up. So totally not in the recipe. You do not have to put that in there. All right, y'all. So I'm home. I'm already in here working on this chicken and it smells amazing. I think I'm always going to add that bacon to it. I can tell you that one. So we're just going to go ahead and chop up this chicken. I've already got my water on the stove to make the pasta. Then we'll dump it in and give it a good old mix of roux and it's going to be absolutely delicious. Okay, so I boiled up some um, bow tie pasta, it's what I had on hand. So now we're just gonna go ahead and stir this together and serve it on up. It's gonna be so good. I used about um, a cup and a half of pasta. And this will, you know, thicken up, of course. All right, y'all, so we're getting ready to make cranberry chicken. I've never had this before, so y'all will get a review at the end. But we've got four pretty decent sized chicken breasts here. I'm gonna season it up with a little bit of Badia Complete, but then we're gonna dump this bottle of French style dressing in there, along with this can of cranberry sauce and one packet of onion soup mix. All right, y'all, so into a sprayed crock pot, we're gonna put some of the French dressing on the bottom. And now we're going to season up the chicken breast and put those right on top. And now we're going to come back in with the rest of that. Just put it over each of those chicken breasts. Now the recipe calls for whole cranberry, cranberry sauce, but I only have the jelly con, so I just kind of broke it up. We're going to put that right over at the top. We're gonna take this whole packet of the Lipton onion soup mix, and that's gonna go right over top of that. Might seem like a weird combination, but everybody says it's really good. This is gonna go on low for four to six hours. I'm just gonna do mine on four since mine will flip over to keep warm and it'll keep it nice and hot until I get home. And then All right, y'all, so I'm home. You can't really tell much. It don't look appealing. I mean, honestly, it kind of looks like barbecue chicken, but I know it's going to be fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of our supper done. Um, it's a side dish, of course, so it'll be in another video, but I'm excited to try this one. All right, y'all, so we are gonna go ahead and make a crock pot French onion pork chops tonight for supper. So you'll just need some seasoning of choice. Of course, I'm gonna go with Badia Complete. The recipe only calls for one can, but I'm going to use two cans of French onion soup. And then I've got four chops here. They are pretty thick. They're probably about two inches thick each. So we're just gonna go ahead and put everything on into the crock pot. Can't get no easier than this. All right, so I'm just gonna put one can down in the bottom. And now we're gonna go ahead and season up our pork chops. All right, so like I said, these are pretty thick and pretty large. <laughs> okay, so I've got both of those in there. What I'm gonna do is just put a little bit 
of that second can in between them since I've got to put the other two on. Now I'm going to try to alternate them like this just to kind of, maybe that'll work. <laughs> Alright, so now that we've got the other two chops in there, we're just going to take the rest of that and go right over the tops of these. Now the original recipe says to add a half a cup of water to it, but since I put two cans of French onion soup mix, I'm not putting the water in there. So we're going to go ahead, put our lid on here, and these are going to cook for about four to five hours on low. So I'm going to go ahead and do four, and then they'll just click over to keep warm. All right, y'all. So if y'all are liking this video so far, please give me a like and hit that subscribe button. All right, y'all. So I am home from work, and these chops have been on keep warm. They smell absolutely amazing. I know y'all can't really tell it in here, but I know they're gonna fall off the bone. I can already see that bone right there. <laughs> so these are gonna be so tender and so good. And then I'm just making um, a homemade dressing to go with it and a uh, green bean casserole. So that's gonna be supper tonight. Alright y'all, so we're getting ready to make some teriyaki meatballs in the crock pot. So for this, I just have a 32 ounce bag of homestyle meatballs. You will need some brown sugar. You'll also need some pineapple juice, some garlic, and then a bottle of teriyaki sauce. Now I'll have both recipes that I use and I'm kind of just mix matching them together. So I'll have both of the original ones linked down in my description box. Alright, so we're just going to... Put all the meatballs in the bottom of the crock pot. And I did want to mention the sprayed my crock pot first because this will end up getting sticky. So if you like to use crock pot liners, go ahead and put one of those in and then put everything in on top right, of that. So now I'm just going to come in with a handful of brown sugar. If I had to guess, it would probably be a quarter of a cup. And I just have an eight ounce can of pineapple juice here. We're going to put all of that on there. And now we're gonna come in with our garlic. Y'all know I love my garlic, so. <laughs> um, I would say this is probably a total of about a tablespoon. And now we're gonna come in with our 14 ounce bottle of teriyaki sauce. All right, so we've got everything in there. This is gonna cook on a low for four hours. All right, y'all, so we're home. I've done stirred these and they are amazing. Make these, make them for sure. <laughs> they are so good. They are that perfect combination between the savory and then you got the sweetness from the pineapple juice and the brown sugar. These are to die for, they are so good. I'm just serving mine with some steamed broccoli and some, um, uh, white rice and that's going to be supper tonight and it's going to be fantabulous. All right, sweet friends, that is it for today's video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. It truly helps out my channel and it makes YouTube send it out to more people, which really helps me support my family. If you are in need of prayer, please let me know below and I would be honored to pray for you all. And if you are looking for some other supper ideas, please check out either one of these videos and you'll get tons more inspiration. Until next time, my sweet friends, God bless. Bye.